Hey guys, welcome back to Games Mods. Okay, <clears throat> this is gonna be the part two of the um, I don't know why I would call this the the mod the short delete muzzle thing uh, that I got from Custom Cake Designs. Uh, I talked to him and I asked him what uh, why this one was different than this one. He said this was like the version 1.0. This is a version uh, 2.0 of the mag adapter with the extended uh, switch and a little bit more detail on the plating here. So I asked them, you know, do you want me to send you this back and then you can just send me, you know, this instead. And he goes, no, I'll just keep this. You bought enough for me. So he's just gonna send me a new one of these, which is awesome. So I don't know what to do with this. This is so good, it still works. Um, yeah. <laughs> So I have extra pieces in that regard, as well as two hoppers. Um, but he showed me where to cut on um, the muzzles here, and I will do that now. Put these to the sides for a second. <clears throat> Put the muzzle blades over here. So we'll do one at a time. Um, I'm gonna put this one to the side over here. We'll work on this one. Let's open. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it apart like it is now. And you're gonna take out the loose stuff, which is this. Um, you put that over here. You're gonna wanna take this out, which is the other side of this as well as this uh, gray railing thing. I wonder if it just comes off. It might be, let's see here. Might be screwed in on this side. Let's see. No, it doesn't look like it. So it's stuck in here somehow. Maybe a friction fit. Cabin that I don't see. <clears throat> Ooh, actually, it might be that screw here, and maybe that screw, and that screw, and that screw. So, we're gonna go ahead and undo this now that we're thinking about it. Just to see if that's what's holding it in. I'm gonna go ahead and just remove these. I'm gonna put them in a row just in case if I do need them. I don't think I will because, especially these first two, I'm gonna be cutting off. So, don't really need it after the fact, I think. Oh, to get this off, you need to take the other one off too, which is, I think, these two. <clears throat> You just need to take this off. This piece is fine where it is. You can actually put the screws back into that. Which I'm gonna do right here.
And these screws, you really don't need to put them back in there because since this gray piece is off and you're not going to be using it after you um, cut the muzzle, you just leave them out. And same thing on this side, you're going to take all the screws out, which I think are these top four, which should already be pretty loose because I took them out prior. Let me go ahead and take those out all the way. <clears throat> I don't have anything magnetized. Where's my... I think one of them actually fell out up in here, which we can keep. <clears throat> okay. And then I think this was actually screwed on as well. Yeah, you got, let's see here. One right there. One in the center. And one at the end. There's that. And it should hopefully, if I do it right, pop off. There we go. So now you got the gray part off. So that's the easy part. Now the hard part is going to be cutting it. I mean, not really hard, but you know. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put this kind of back together in a way. Just so it's uh, lined up in every aspect. I'm going to put this screw back in. Just so it holds it together. So when I'm sawing, it doesn't go all over the place. So basically, <clears throat> where are you gonna cut? I'll put the picture that um, Custom Cake sent me um, in the video right here. Um, you'll see where he drew the line. So the line <clears throat> is basically right here, and then just straight all the way up. So it should be a pretty Straightforward thing. What I might do is I might cut a little bit to, uh, you know, not enough. As long as I can get close. Um, yeah, let's see. Because if you take this, which is what goes on there, this is going to go on the bottom. It's going to go over that. And that's going to go over there. So it's going to fit right about there. I believe. I believe that's how it's supposed to work. All right. What I'm looking at Yeah. Okay. So we'll cut straight across first. Um and then if we need to do any more cutting, we'll do that afterwards. I'm going to put one screw 
right there because I believe that has to stay in there as well. Just don't want everything jostling around while I'm trying to hold it. There's no going back. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this around. I'm gonna get my safety glasses because I will be cutting stuff. Don't want anything flying in my eye. Put stuff to the side. This is probably not the best saw to use, but it's the only saw I have. So I'm actually gonna put on some gloves now that I'm thinking about it, just in case. Well, I'm gonna use one. Once where I actually have to hold on to it. Right. This is basically a, a circular saw. Probably not the best one to use, but like I said, it's the only one I got. Um, trying to figure out the best way to do this. Probably just one section at a time. So through, through. I'm gonna go not cut as much first because I can always dremel the extra off after but let's go ahead let's see what we're going I'm gonna have to use a dremel anyways because this even with the guard and everything it's not gonna reach um, all the way into it all right a little bit loud go. There's our first cut. Slowly turn. I should probably screw the rest of this together before I keep going. Now that I'm thinking about it, because I do not want to have stuff come flying out everywhere, uh, internals wise. Screws I can deal with, but all the little, you know, anything else that's inside there, I don't really want to try to figure out how all that stuff goes back inside. Uh-huh. The right screwdriver here would be helpful.
I'm gonna do this video on too before I even make that first cut. I'll do I'll do the second one off. I just figured you should see the first one. So you know how to assemble it. Second one's just gonna be a repeat. I don't think that screw goes there. Turn that off. So basically, my <clears throat> basically my saw cut halfway through. So that's a plus of how far stuff will actually cut. And I cannot get that thing out. There we go. So a longer screw goes in there, I believe, which I'm gonna try that one. Oh, I don't get it. Anyway, back to the cutting. <laughs> All right. Halfway through is so where I'm going to do the other side now. Put my glove back on here. This one actually might be a little bit easier. <clears throat> Not even cut, but we'll get there. You just dribble some out if I really want to. Uh, let's see how much more I have to do for this guy. Yeah, a little bit more. Has to be all the way to this, I believe. Uh, so let me get my dremel. This, you can probably just toss this. Don't need that. It's gone. <laughs> I need to clean this desk this weekend. This is atrocious. It's... All right, I 
get some Trimble. There's junk on the way. Classes. So that's about down to where he said. Forgot that that was going to be a little bit hot. Just trying to clean this up a little bit. You can go in after and use this, you know, your sanding bit on a Dremel or just some good sandpaper. I'm just picking up the little stuff. Make sure nothing went up inside there, which was pretty good. If you're really concerned that something went up there, you can open up the blaster and dust it if you want. Say, or blow a thick uh, can of air in there. Me, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually going to take this guy though, carve this stuff out. Just a little bit. It's just loose. Junk. There we go. All this you can throw away because it's all junkish. Cut off. Do not throw it on the ground because if you step on that barefoot, it will hurt. All right, let's try to fit again. Almost. I think this part's fine down here. 
It's this part up top I think I need to take off. Let's see. Make sure. Yeah, because I got about that much more room there. So. Take off just a little bit more. So about that much, I didn't measure of course. <laughs> but as I always say, cut a little bit at a time because you can always cut more, you can't cut less. <laughs> you can't go backwards when you cut. It's a very difficult. <laughs> Nearly impossible, some would say. So we'll clear that junk out. You don't really need to, I think, but you know. I got OCD in it. ADD all in the same, so kind of have to for me. <laughs> Shaking it till it don't shake no more. <laughs> all right, let's try the fit again. Here. Don't want to force it because it is three D printed, you know. I wonder, does this come apart? Take that off right now, just to see. Can't see what these on. Oh, I think I see it. I think I see what's going on. No. Is that a knife here?
I mean, I know it's friction fit, but damn. <laughs> How close do you want me to get it? <laughs> Oh, is that? Oh, I think I've got it. I think I got it. There we go. Got it. Awesome. I can go right back in there. Sweet. So what I couldn't see when I was putting it back together is the lip on the bottom part on the green. Um, it's kind of rounded and it will slide. You just have to manage. You have to get the lip on top of that top rail first and then get it over that. Um, I might turn it a little too short, but you know, whatever. It works and it's on there pretty solid. I mean, it's gonna take me some effort just to get off if I ever need to. But. Minimized. There you go. Um, so yeah, I will have to do that to the second one, of course. Um, that's basically how you do it. And I am covered in chewed up plastic from this. <laughs> but that was fun. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to do the same thing to the second one. But overall, great. Uh, let me put the new mag adapter pieces on it. There we go. There you go. A little powerhouse. Let me get the magazine and some darts. We'll see how it goes. There's a magazine. Put some darts in there. Hey, look at that. I have some darts. <laughs> um, now, somebody was uh, complaining about the wheel in here. That spits out the uh, that pushes the darts forward into the flywheels. It does chew up your magazines, so either you can do one of two things: let them chew it up just a little bit, or actually dig out the part where it's going to chew. It's up to you. Still fits in there regardless, um, you know, because it still has a locking mechanism in the back here of any magazine. Uh, but the part that chews is this little part. So that's out. That's in. So it does make a little bit of an indent because of the wheel. But other than that, it's fine. All right, I'm gonna stay back here and fire. Awesome. Perfect. I'll put in any, uh, we have one screw missing. And I'll probably fix that screw up there. But regardless, that's awesome. Um, can't wait for the Version two, I'm gonna put all that together, cut that one down probably tomorrow. Um, but yeah, highly recommend this if you like, uh, almost like a sci-fi Nerf uh, Uzi, if you will. Um, these I probably won't use for anything, even though they look aesthetically pleasing, um, cause they're, it's just in a weird spot. Plus it's minimized already. I'd rather have something go up here, um, but not much can, but, yeah, whatever. And this should I'll just pull it out just like that. So yeah, um, awesome. Uh, works great. Um, I think that's it for the Matrix Fire uh, mag adapter mod. The um, little was it the Rev uh, all uh, the Rev. Uh, Reset button alarm, or not alarm, the, you know, the little nub that you have to flip over. Um, and then the muzzle delete, of course, from Cakes Custom as well. Um, so yeah, works great. 
um, and I think I'm probably one of the first people to view it. Uh, I'm going to do one more video tonight, and it's something that's not even, it just dropped, I think like, I don't know, two days ago, and I got it today. I actually got it a day early, so that will be up, and it is a Nerf item, and it is also a Fortnite item, so stay tuned for that. All right. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Uh, please like, follow, share, and subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys in the next one. All right. Bye.